So in chapter six, we're going to be talking about the normal distribution. And specifically in 6.1, we're gonna be doing an introduction of that topic. So what we'll do first though, is we'll start with the uniform distribution. We wanna know the normal, but to understand the standard normal, we first need to understand what a distribution is. So the definition of the uniform distribution is values that are spread evenly over a range to create a rectangular shape. And so that's what you'll see down below. So we've worked with dis hard to say, discrete distributions already. And so here's an equivalent discrete distribution. Remember, we list all the outcomes. We list what the probability of those outcomes are. And then I can draw a histogram. So remember, at the bottom of a histogram, we don't actually list the outcomes. We list the class boundary points. And then each histogram bar has a height related to the probabilities, which in this case, because it's uniform, it means they were all the same. So in terms of a uniform distribution, its equivalent would be to have what's called a discrete, discrete curve. And keep in mind with the discrete curve, we do list all the outcomes possible. And then curve seems a little bit of an odd name here, but what happens is we draw lines above each outcome at the height of those probabilities, which in this case, if it's uniform, it's going to be a straight distribution. So what we want to focus on is what's called the density curve. And the density curve specifically for us is a graph, and that's what we need to focus on, but it's a graph of a continuous probability distribution. That's really what we just saw when we were talking about the uniform um, density curve on the other page, was that it's a continuous distribution. And two important things are making up this fact for us, is the total area under the curve must equal one, Remember, the sum of all probabilities must be one, so it kind of ties in with that. And the second key to a probability distribution is that the height on the curve everywhere is at zero or higher. And the way that this ties into probability is, remember, probability can never be negative, so probability can only be zero or higher. So again, tying those two together, the density curve and probability are tied together in the two areas I just said because the total um, area under the density curve is going to equal 1 and the sum of all probabilities equals 1. We can use our density curve, our graph, remember density curve is just a graph, to find probability. So stating that in is you know one sentence that the area under a graph equals probability. Whoops, let me whoops, sorry about that. Equals probability. And so that is the key. So long as we focus on the fact that area equals probability, you've got it all down.